Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. The most important aspect of investment process is measuring the performance of the investment. If we don't measure the performance, there's a high possibility that we may not be able to create the corpus we intended to create to meet a certain financial goal. Worst, we may lose money. Measuring performance is gonna be the topic for today's video. Let's dive in. We have four metrics to measure the performance of the investment. Number one, absolute return. Number two, CAGR or compounded annual growth rate. Number three, IRR or internal rate of return. Number four, XIRR or extended internal rate of return. You may wonder why we have four metrics. Depending upon the frequency of the investment and the interval with which the investments were made, we may have to use one or another metric to measure the performance. Let's start with absolute return. Absolute return is used to measure how much your original investment has grown over a period of time. For example, if you had invested 1 lakh 3 years ago and it has become 1.5 lakh now, then the absolute return would be 50% based on the formula shown on the screen. That's all. It doesn't say much. It doesn't tell you how fast the investment grew and what was the rate of return every year. To measure how fast the investment grew every year, we have to jump to CAGR or compounded annual growth rate. For the same investment of 1 lakh than 3 years ago, the CAGR would be 36% based on the formula shown on the screen. That means in order for 1 lakh to become 1.5 lakh in 3 years, your investment should grow at the rate of 36% every year. So CAGR is a metric one should use to make a comparison between uh, two mutual funds, two different asset classes, or to make a comparison between a mutual fund and a benchmark. For example, if a mutual fund A had given a CAGR of 10% and another mutual fund B had given a CAGR of 15%, then naturally the later one had given better performance. Both absolute return and CAGR can be used only for lump sum investment. For example, you made 1 lakh investment and then you waited for 3 years, you can use CAGR. But most cases, the investments are made annually. For example, most savings scheme of LIC, the contributions are made every year. In those cases, we cannot use CAGR. We have to use IRR or internal rate of return. How to calculate it? We cannot do it manually. Instead, we can use a function from MS Excel. I will show Let's you. imagine a case a person has made annual contributions for five years as shown on the screen. You can calculate IRR by entering the contributions on the right and the year on the left. You have to note that the year should always start with zero and the contribution should always be in the negative. And the final value should be the positive. Using this formula, you can calculate IRR as 16%. Use only when the investments are done annually at equal intervals but in reality most investments are done at irregular intervals sip for example when you make systematic investment plan it could be done monthly or weekly or quarterly at different point in time it doesn't have to be at equal intervals for those cases irr cannot be of any help and for those cases we have uh, something called XIRR, Extended Internal Rate of Return. How to calculate it? Again, we have a 
formula for that let's see how we can calculate XIRR let's take an example in which the SIP has been made in the following sequence and it is then on this particular dates you can calculate XIRR by entering the the contributions on the right and the date on which the contributions were made on the left in the same format as shown on the screen again you have to note that the contribution should be always in the negative and the final value should be in the positive and by using this formula you can calculate XIRR okay let's do a quick recap absolute return and CAGR can be used only for lump sum investment on the other hand IRR can be used for investment done periodically at equal intervals and XIRR can be used for investment done at irregular intervals for example SIP lastly for investment that are less than one year you can calculate rate of return using absolute return for investment that are less than one year you cannot use CAGR or XIRR to calculate annual rate of return okay with this we come to end of today's video if you like today's content please share it with your friends like share and subscribe to our channel thank you